Hello and welcome to the Rugged Rockhound. Today I am in Grand Junction. This is my first time rockhounding while living in Grand Junction. So we just moved Grand Junction proper is down there. This is Fruta and this is the well-known Opal Hill. So obviously being well known in close proximity to the town it's been hit hard. So mm, I don't know how good of stuff I'll actually find but it's my first time here and I don't mind a challenge. <laughs> So we're going to take a look. We're going to hike up there and just see what we can find. See if we can find any decent opal. Here it's common opal. Mostly it'll be white or cream and maybe some other colors. So the big thing we're looking for then is some good colors um, and maybe some uh, opalized wood. So let's get to it. So that's the hill. And I don't actually know where it's coming out, although I think from what I've read it's coming out from kind of the top. But to be sure, I'm gonna kind of explore it myself. So I think I'll just start looking at stuff down here, see if I notice anything. And then maybe go that, work over my way up to the top, and we'll just see what we find. So right off the bat, I'm seeing some things that remind me of Cisco and Yellow Cat. You got a teeny little bit of red agate, jasper type stuff. You got this selenite. Basically it's the fibrous form of gypsum. And there, see this looks a little bit like one of those barite concretions once again from Cisco and Yellow Cat. Oh, and, hmm, that might be some of the replaced stuff. Okay, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff coming up, off, coming off this hill. Yep, see, look at that, some more red agate. This one looked interesting, so I'm going to try and get it out. Again, one of those kind of barite type concretions, or maybe not even barite. There's those concretions that you find at Cisco and Yellow Cat. Uh, some of them uh, not barite replacements, but they'll have this red agate in it. Interesting. Some of this red agate might be really nice if you can find it in larger pieces. More of that Jasper agate stuff. Here is the first piece of opal I'm pretty darn sure that I've found. It's got the nice white color that you expect with the opal. Nice and light. Maybe even have a little bit of texture in it. Some of the opal over here is wood, but I'm not sure about that one. Now that looks more like a potential piece of wood. Yeah. I would say that looks like a piece of petrified wood. I'll take it home and wash it off some more. Possibly even cut into it. And we'll determine for sure if it's wood. But it sure looks like it. So there, here's this one washed off. So I wasn't sure if it was petrified wood. Took a closer look at it and sure enough, it is petrified wood. You can see in it the little pores. It's very interesting because it's got these little bits of red agate filling in some of where the the pores the the uh, the xylem would have been where it was uh, drawing water so interesting that one has a decent pocket in it right of agate that red and then white in the center cool yeah I really wonder if any of these bigger ones will look really nice inside with agate I might have to take a couple pieces back and cut them. I'll try and find the ones that look most promising. That one's looking pretty decent. It's too big for me to cut it this time. Hmm. But that's not bad. Here's a tiny shard of opal, and you'll see you've got some white there, and then it goes to some other colors. And it's definitely opal. So we'd like to find bigger pieces of that and hopefully more color. Just wanted to point out, most of the reddish agate that I was seeing, I found down there. As I'm getting up here higher, I'm not seeing it as much. So it looks like the red agate is coming out of the lower units here. And so far as opal and petrified wood, well, I haven't seen enough of that yet to be able to determine. So I've made it up 
on top of the shelf there, on the top of the hills up there. So I did find a little shard of opal, kind of a white to cream color. So there is opal up here as well. So I, I feel like, because most times when you get deposits, they'll be in multiple layers. So we'll probably find it in layers below here and in layers above. It's just a matter of finding where it replaced something of good size, like a piece of wood or a fossil or something like that. <laughs> Look at that gypsum. It's what they call satin spar. <laughs> so I got, got uh, some stream pebbles on the bottom too. So I got this like kind of sandstone to conglomerate in some of this. This layer right here looks like volcanics or clay. That's your better chance for finding opal and stuff like that. So here's a nice view from the top of Opal Hill. Very nice. It's beautiful, beautiful landscape here. So what I've figured out so far, and I mean, it may not be correct, but most of what I've been finding, anything good, has been below this, this shelf below me here. So below that, kind of that sandstone unit. So those greenish, grayish, well, green, gray, brownish hill is where I seem to be finding the stuff. The layers, if you look here, are tilted like this, sloped like this. So my guess is gonna be that your best bet on finding this stuff is gonna be below these cliffs on this side, around the back here, where we've got a nice exposure, and then probably along that side as well. You know, if I was smart, I would have come up the hill looking at the signs, and so that it's like, there, you find petrified wood in the Dakota Formation. And it is the toe of Opa Hill. That's what I thought. So it is coming out at the bottom of the inlets. Huh. That was correct. <laughs> All right. I believe this is the Dakota formation it's talking about. It looks right. So from this point down is kind of one where you want to focus your efforts. Here's a nice little piece of red. I think it's more jasper than agate. That's kind of nice. Ooh, that looks more of a car carnelian almost. That's cool. I only saw the tip, but then it came out fairly large. So I'm going to clean that off and see if that's nice. That might actually be a nicer piece. Here's this one washed off. It's got this like white center and red on the outside. Kind of cool. So this one had a little red there. And then this thicker layer with a kind of a dark red. I don't know. This one looks pretty nice. All right. All right, I think that's a good one to take and cut. Here's this one washed off. That was the best part right there. And just a little bit right there. So yeah, mostly right there. So this is interesting. It looks like wood texture in there. Could very well be kind of a jasper opal, whatever. Doesn't really look like opal to me. But if that's the wood, see those fractures all through it? That, that would explain why it's very hard to find wood because it is so fractured. Once it exposes, it just falls all to pieces. So right there, this piece looks like it has quite a bit of red in it. I'll take that home and wash it off and see how it looks. Here's this one washed off. Yeah, there's not much on the other side. Just that. Okay, right in there. I've been I've been searching for a while, finding mostly lots of little bits of red agate. So I didn't really show this, but I found this. Doesn't that kind of look like palm wood a little bit? Very interesting. Very interesting. Take that home, because that might be some palm wood. Here's this piece all washed off. Definitely, once again, confirming that this is a piece of wood. 
It was definitely more of a tropical tree with those large xylem. Here's this one washed off. So many of these. Red agate on the outside, the center kind of a white calcite. Here's this one washed off. The stuff in the center looks like calcite the way it fractured, so I think it's some white calcite right in the middle. And then red agate around the edge. Here's some more of that red agate with the uh, white calcite in the middle. And I'm back at the vehicle. So the sun's starting to get low and time to get out of here. But just so you know, if you're coming out here to look, stay in that lower half of the hill. All right, that's where you're gonna actually find stuff. That's where you find the red agate and the uh, petrified wood and opal. So it's all coming out of that. So if you're coming out here, the red agate is pretty abundant in small amounts, right? Small veins, but it's still nice. So if you wanna come out and look for red agate, this is a good place. The opal and petrified wood are definitely much harder to find. So just understand if you come out for that, you might be searching for a while. So that's it for this one. And remember, there is treasure everywhere.